Summer is a great time to catch some rays, but watch out for those of the cosmic or gamma variety. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll see what happens when Bruce Banner meets Ben Grimm in an all-out super-powered brawl. For this showdown, we're pitting the Hulk versus the Thing based on specific categories to see how well they measure up overall. Puny human. Round 1, Origin and Motivation. Should have seen him before. Okay, now I'm gonna go kill him. When super scientist Reed Richards brings Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, and best friend Ben Grimm into space for an experimental mission, a few days in space, it'll be great. What's the worst that can happen? The four companions are pelted with cosmic rays until they become super-powered heroes. Ben Grimm gets the short end of that stick when he is mutated into a giant orange rock monster. Oh my god. Deb, it's me. It's still me. I used the accident. Let, let me explain. No, no, don't touch me! Debs! Where most people would become evil supervillains following a transformation just like that, Ben instead joins his newly powered teammates to fight crime. <laughs> Scientist Bruce Banner is bombarded with insane amounts of gamma radiation when he jumps in to save the life of a young teenager who has wandered on to a nuclear testing site. The gamma's too high! Bruce, I can't stop it! Whenever Banner is angered thereafter, he transforms into a monstrous green man with superhuman abilities, including strength and nigh invulnerability. <laughs> While both are foolhardy adventurers who were forever changed by the risks they took, the thing was in space when it happened, which is just a little bit cooler. He also doesn't have to be angry or under emotional distress to be able to use his powers. Winner, the thing. Not gonna be a problem! <laughs> Round 2. Powers. Oh boy, that's a biggie. While turning into a horrible orange rock monster does have its downsides, it also comes with a few perks. As the thing, Ben Grimm can perform feats of superhuman strength. His orange rock hide is nearly impenetrable, giving him enhanced durability. I think it might be clever in time. And unlike the Hulk on most days, Ben retains his intelligence as the thing and can think quickly in a fight. Ben. Bruce Banner has genius level intellect, but it's usually completely useless when he becomes the Hulk. So let's focus on what the Hulk can do. He told me what he wanted to do. Let's start with the fact that everything he does is super. So super strength, super speed, super durability, super reflexes, etc. Hulk! Smash! All of that is increased the angrier he gets. And even then, it doesn't take a whole lot to pull that hair trigger. While Bruce Banner wouldn't fare too well in the fight, the Hulk could take about just anybody in the Marvel Universe. Winner, the Hulk. I am a god, you dull creature, and I will not be bullied by that. <laughs> Round three, Alter Ego. Do you want to be Ben Grimm again? When he's fighting the likes of Victor Von Doom, Ben Grimm is the mighty thing, a giant rock monster with super strength. Put biceps on your triceps! When he's at home eating cereal, Ben Grimm is still a giant rock monster with super strength. Yeah, wherever he goes, he's always gonna be the thing, no matter how hard he tries to hide it. Just give me the usual and I'm out. All right. Make it a double. You won't like him when he's angry, but for most hours of the day, Bruce Banner is a mild-mannered scientist who hides his alter ego pretty well by not being a giant green rage monster. We're doing the basic science for everyone. This comes in handy when he wants to keep his life of superheroism secret from those he loves. The Hulk wins this one by default. Sorry, Ben. I can't get too excited. <laughs> Round four, villains. Victor. The Fantastic Four have an impressive roster of super foes. The Thing gets to tangle with all of them for the most part because he's the muscle of the group, and he's not afraid to throw a few punches. Victor Von Doom is the group's main antagonist, and you'll usually find the ruler of Latveria trying to take over the world with his evil Doom bots. While Ben Grimm will probably never outwit the nefarious Doom, he can certainly pack a hell of a wallop. It's clobbering time. 
when you're a giant radiation monster, the list of your bad guys probably won't include card-carrying Mensa members. What? While the Hulk does have his share of brainy bad guys, you'll usually find him battling other behemoths like the Abomination, Red Hulk, or the Absorbing Man. Now, let me show you why they call me the Absorbing Man. A particularly interesting Hulk story arc is found in World War Hulk, where he takes on most of the Marvel superheroes in gladiatorial fashion. While the Hulk has big bad bruisers to throw down with, the Thing's villains are a little more refined. Winner, The Thing. This is gonna be fun. Round five, team ups. The day of the Fantastic Four. The Thing and the Fantastic Four are usually mentioned in the same breath, and there's a good reason for that. They're one of Marvel's oldest superhero teams. What's the matter, Ben? You getting paranoid in your old age? And while they've had rotating members every now and then, the core group stays pretty much the same. No need to fear they're here, just fall apart. Working together to fight crime has brought Ben Grimm and the Fantastic Four so close that they're practically inseparable. Man, I love this job. Job, huh? Well, we do have a suit. It doesn't take much to be an Avenger. If you have a superpower, or even if you aim really well and you want to fight for good, then you've probably already gotten an invitation. But the Hulk is one of the founding members of Marvel's most popular superhero group. And as such, he's usually called on in times of extreme crisis. I have an army. We have a Hulk. Okay, sure. There was that time that Iron Man, along with a few other Marvel notables, decided to send Bruce Banner into space for being a bit of a dick. But, you know, that's all water under the bridge by now. We had no choice. May you finally find peace. While the Fantastic Four are a close-knit crime-fighting team, blue isn't everyone's color. By contrast, the Avengers have a pretty laid-back costume policy. Now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Cap. A minimum of ripped-up purple shorts will do nicely, whether you're human, mutant, robot, alien, supernatural, or even a former bad guy turned good, you can still be a part of their team. Avengers Assemble. Winner, The Hulk. I'm always angry. The Thing was a really close second, but Bruce Banner can be a real pain when he doesn't get his way. By a score of 3 to 2, we've got to give it to the Hulk for the win, if only to avoid being smashed. Does our verdict spell clobbering time for you? Be sure to debate in the comments and subscribe to WatchMojo.com for more entertaining versus battles. Okay, that one hurt.